Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Myrie. Today's topic, there is a bomb in Gilead. The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. For the hurt of the daughter of my people, am I hurt? I am black. Astonishment had taken hold on me. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? Jeremiah 8, 20 through 22. Today, as soon as somebody catches a cold, having a rash in a particular era, it's so easy to go to the nearest pharmacy and grab some medicine or an ointment. With the great advancement in medical science, it seems as if there's a cure or some form of remedy for most sicknesses that exist. However, in olden times, medicine wasn't as readily available as it is today. Many forms of medicine were in high demand, and thus we have the balm, which could only be found mainly in Gilead. What is a balm, you may ask? A balm is an arithmetic medical substance derived from plants. Gilead was an era of the east of Jordan River, well known for its spices and ointments. The balm of Gilead was therefore a high quality ointment with healing properties. The balm was made from raisin taken from the flowing plant. This balm was so precious that it is said in history that the Queen of Sheba gave Solomon one of the trees as a gift. You can remember when Joseph was in the pit, he was sold to the Ishmaelites that were going to Egypt. Notice it said that they had with them gum and balm, which they got from Gilead to be sold in Egypt. It was used on wounds and various infections. How it was made, they would cut the tree, and the liquid from the tree is what would be used in the healing process. Now many times growing up we've heard that Jesus is the balm in Gilead. We repeated it, we shouted it, but do we really understand what it means? As humans, we are flawed because of sin. The best you can find of us still have some struggles in their flesh. Yes, everyone has something that they are struggling with. <laughs> Even the usher. Before we got saved, sin had dominion over us. Therefore, whatever the flesh said to do, we do. Whatever the flesh told us to say, we'd say it. Because we were under the bondage of sin, the scripture reminds us that without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. Therefore, Jesus came into the world, went on Calvary's cross. You've got to understand this. He was beaten. He was spat upon. Yes, he was wounded. And it is from these wounds, his blood began to pour. As with the balm tree, it had to be cut and the liquid that came from the balm tree was what was used for healing. Jesus was wounded for our transgressions. It was the blood of Jesus that paid the ransom for mankind. It brought us out of the kingdom of darkness and placed us into the kingdom of light. The blood of Jesus is what gives us healing. It's more precious than silver. It's more precious than gold. Understand this, the blood of Jesus was never meant to be used as a weapon, but the blood is used for redemption. The blood is used for cleansing. The blood is used for healing. This is why Peter said, by his stripes, we were healed. Understand what Peter was trying to say. Peter is saying that before you get sick, you're already healed because Jesus' blood was shed on Calvary's cross to take a vile heart an evil heart, a filthy heart, and wash it and make it clean. Isaiah said, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Can I let you know look a secret? You can save so much money by not going to the doctor, but by opening your mouth and applying the blood to that illness. As a child of God, you have access to the greatest healing ointment that has ever been known to man, the blood of Jesus. The quote of the day, before you were even sick, you were healed. As you go today, child of God, go knowing that the blood of Jesus is applicable in your life, can be used for healing. If you're a backsider today, the blood is still here, ready to wash you. If you've never been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the blood is here ready for you. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. We make a miracle walker, promise keeper, light in the darkness.